Hello, Teresa. Hello. Uh, Could you present yourself? Sure. My name is Teresa Eller, and I am the SharePoint admin at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. We're the number one cancer center in the United States. I've been there for two years. I have a wonderful team that I work with, and I love SharePoint. Yeah. A lot of SharePoint in the hospital? Yes, a lot of SharePoint. We have over 14,000 active users. We have probably four or five different SharePoint farms. I only manage one of them, thankfully. <laughs> yeah. And do you have any um, community uh, activity? I try to be very involved in the SharePoint community. I have been speaking for about three and a half years at different SharePoint Saturday events, SQL Saturdays, um, other SharePoint Tech Fest, Houston Tech Fest, kind of anywhere that they'll let me speak, I do. Yeah. SharePoint <laughs> I, Saturday in Paris? I went to SharePoint Saturday Paris last year. Yeah. It was my first trip to Paris, and yeah. I was there for my birthday, so that was wonderful. We were um, very happy to have you with us. I appreciate that. Next month, I'm going to SharePoint Saturday Oslo. Yeah, it should um, be very cool too. It'll be much cooler than Houston. Yeah. <laughs> That's not hard to do. Um, I've actually know some people that are going to be there. And yesterday I met someone who is from Oslo, so I will see him there. So okay. very exciting to meet new people from all over the world instead of just yeah. Texas. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so we are at Ignite now. Uh, was it your first Ignite? This is my first Ignite. I did attend the SharePoint conference in 2014. Yeah. And you know, I went. I finally got to go, and I said, "All right, no more." Okay. So, what is your feeling? Did you did you attend a very good session, or did you add a very specific topics you wanted to deep into? I have been to some sessions that talk about Office 365, what's coming, the modern document library, the new team yeah. sites, groups. So, my company is thinking about going to. SharePoint 2016 or Office 365, we're doing a hybrid environment, yeah. probably, hopefully within the next 18 months. So I'm very excited to see what's coming and know what I need to learn to be prepared for whatever we transition to. Okay, very cool project, very cool migration to Office 365 or hybrid. Um, is there any, I suppose, there, there are some problem to put some documents uh, in, the, in the cloud? for your type of activity? Right now, we are not allowed to use OneDrive, yeah. but... Not at all? For any not, document? Not at all. Okay. So, hopefully that's going to change. The There is a, an instance of Office 365. Yeah. Uh, we're part of the University of Texas system. So, we're actually getting our InfoSec team to look at Office 365 and the security of it, obviously with personal information, PHI, PCI. They're very, we're very concerned about security, and we want to make sure that we protect our patients. Do you have access to the special U.S. government Office 65 uh, instance, or not, not really? I personally don't have any access right now. Yes, but your institution? But <laughs> I don't know what they have. They haven't told me. Okay. So I'm uh, excited, though, for whatever's coming. I have my own Office 365 tenant yeah. that I play with all the time. Okay. And really, actually, looking forward to... Yeah experimenting with it some more next week and, and looking forward to all the features that are coming. That's cool. Uh, do you have any uh, perspective you want to share with us? with us? Any project in the near future? I'm working on an archive project. Okay. So figuring out what kind of archiving SharePoint can do out of the box. And um, I'm also within the community. Yeah. I'm working with uh, women in SharePoint. Yeah, very cool. Can you speak a little bit about that? I would, I would be very interested. There are different chapters of women in SharePoint throughout the country. And there's a website, womeninsharepoint.com. There's yeah. also a Facebook page and a Twitter account. They're also launching Speaking with Wit, which Wit is Women in Technology. Yeah. So there's actually a new site launching today. Okay. And uh, so speakingwithwit.com is going to be another opportunity well, for women awesome. to collaborate and share their stories yeah. and get help from each other. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, I hope we will have uh, some occasion to meet uh, at several events in the future. I would love to go back to Paris. Yeah. <laughs> there will be another Chef on Saturday, so yes. maybe. Who knows? Speak some more French. <laughs> <laughs>